Adam, last week when you sat here, you were seeking some reassurances or some clarity around your role. Has anything changed over the last week? No, nothing's changed. So other than this week's really big for, for the club, you know, for Shannon and and Luke and Nick. So, yeah, really trying to focus on them this week, to be honest. So nothing's changed from last week. So I know you guys keep reporting whatever you need to report, but nothing's changed. So trying to get on with this, this game tomorrow night. Do, does that, do you feel disrespected at all? No. no. How's Jeremy McGovern's ankle? Uh, he trained today. Yeah, so it was um, yeah, it was good. It's good to go. He's right. What are you expecting from the Crows, you know, what, what, given what happened last weekend for them and last game, can't make the finals, or you, or you don't think about it? No, I think about it, yeah. Well, we played them last year with, uh, with JK's last game and, um, you know, obviously they beat us. But, yeah, after the, what they've been through, I would suspect they'd have a point to prove. So we're planning for them at their best. Um, and what they do from a footy club point of view is they're, they're really good at clearances and contests and tackles and all the one percenters so um, it's a pretty honest way of playing so I suspect it's going to be on yeah, it's going to be a real challenge Do you deploy McGovern on to Tex? We might not have a choice there's not, not a lot of options uh, although Bung, you know, Bung's down there now so I think last time we played he, it was his 250th wasn't it? He kicked 10 so um, but I can't remember who was playing on him but it wasn't, we had a few injuries so um I think like Bazo or Yo and maybe Oscar. So um, yeah, very good play, very good forward line. So yeah, that's that's going to be a challenge. What have you, what have you done this week to celebrate the retiring guys? Uh, well, there's going to be lots of activation tomorrow night. So pre and post game, um, you know, in particular with Nick as well to try and recognise his career without playing. Um, it's been a, it's been a pretty lengthy build up for those two guys. So they've actually been pretty quiet. Yeah, I think they just enjoyed their mates and the footy club and and the environment with with the players and coming off a win as well it's obviously a bit more positivity around the club with them so yeah I think they've just stayed connected to the footy club and uh, they really appreciate the, the fans so they turned out in droves on whatever day it was Thursday was it Tuesday and um, yeah so I mean this this rounds as much as for them as is for the supporters as well so it's to recognize well, it's been a tough year, but our supporters have turned up, so it's a, it's a combination. And I guess last year, it was such a magical day with JK, albeit not getting the result. Do you expect a, a similar emotion, an outpouring of emotion? Can that help? Um, I, I hope so. I, we haven't quite bottled that as well as I would have liked in milestone games for us. They haven't worked well recently. So, you know, is it different than, than a final? Because there's so much more probably love in the room and care and uh, connection with that that piece so yeah how do we get the best out of our players is my job um and and staying focused at the job at hand because there's a lot of possible distractions which they're very positive but um yeah we managed it pretty well with with jk but we didn't win i see the fans have weighed in and the members behind you so how, how do you feel about that i think it's three thousand or something done a petition we want, we want you to stay. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I've got a lot of gratitude for our supporters I have since since I got here. Um, so that I do appreciate that. I, I think my kids voted against me. So um, <laughs> that no, look, it's yeah. I don't I don't know how that I don't know how to answer that. It's, um, yeah, it's it's flattering and I appreciate it. But um, I'm not sure what to say. Is there a bit more emotion for you in this game? Obviously, saying goodbye to the three that you've had a big influence on, and I'm sure them on you, but. Maybe that it could be your final. I've sort of parked that a little bit. Yeah, but well my my stuff will work itself out after the season. So um, yeah, there's probably too much going on to, to reflect personally. But you know, I'm not playing, so it's a bit different. And um, these guys are legends of the club, and I don't want to get in the way. Do you feel a bit emotional about saying goodbye to the three of them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, they're heart and soul players. I, there's been a lot of positive talk about these guys, but it's all real. It's not. There's no. It's what you see is what you get. And they're all different, but very similar with their values and the care they have for the club and their mates and their family. So, yeah, and the, the combination with all that is they're very good players. And that just doesn't happen very often. So great role models for our younger players and we're going to miss them. At the weekend, Simo, over in Melbourne, you said after the game you can't ride the highs or can't ride the lows. Will you give yourself a chance this weekend with those three guys retiring and the atmosphere and hopefully the party atmosphere to Probably actually not. be a bit emotional about it. Probably not. Nah. No, I just, I just, yeah. 
I, I, I've got a lot of care for these players, but um, I won't be doing a lap of honour with them. <laughs> so, no, I, I don't know how I feel. And, and like I said, it's not about, it's not about me. Would Shannon Hearn be, would he want to spend time on Tex in this game or would he be hoping for an easier match-up to sail off? And <laughs> he doesn't have a choice, Bung. Uh, he's a backman. So uh, there was a lot of me time with Josh last year, in which that's what Ford's like. And, um, you know, he gets on the end of some, some good play and, and he, like, he was such a special player for us. To, to kick eight in his last game it was just a fairy tale. And we didn't win, but it was a great send-off. When you're a defender, uh, there's... Be a good defender is what he's thinking. Um, and Luke's the same. He's got a bit more control because he can play in the midfield and win the ball. But yeah, when you're a forward, it's a little bit different if it's your, if your send-off game. So I think he just wants to play good footy, good team footy. How much of the messaging to the players this week has been around, you know, her and Shuey and Nick Nutt and trying to send them off on a winning note? Uh, no, not, not, not a lot, to be honest. No, we've, um, we're trying to stick to the process, try and you know, treat the opposition the same. Obviously, the season's been out of reach for a long period of time. So last week, you know, there was really good motivation to play well um, from within, within the playing group. And I suspect and hope that they'll do it again this week. And just in terms of last week's win, how big was that for some of the younger players sort of experiencing winning on the road and in that sort of environment? Yeah, well, it's, I mean, I'm sure Adelaide are talking about the same thing and, and teams that aren't in contention, um, how you finish off the year sometimes is a reflection of your your next season. So we went through that in different circumstances, in 17, you know, even in 16, how the progression of that really held us in good stead the year after. I'm not saying we're going to win them back next year, but I, I do think it's important to, to give everything you got on field. And that's why this tanking stuff, and, and it's just not in our thoughts because a game like that last week will pay us back in years to come. I just wanted to ask about Justin Lang. Obviously, he knows the ups and downs of coaching, and, yep. and you've got a pretty close relationship with him. Have you learnt much on him during this period, and what advice has he given you? Oh, it's a challenge for Jay because he's on the board. Mm -hmm. um, so um, uh, he, he's, he is and always will be a good friend of mine, and I respect his leadership and, and what he's done for the club and, and for me personally. And just to know that you've got someone really fighting in your corner. Oh, no, well, he's going to make decisions based on what's best for the club, not for me. So that, that, that's, that's separate. But in terms of what he's been through and how he's handled it and what he's experienced, that's, that's, that's invaluable. Someone, Campbell Chesser, um, omitted this week, obviously had his, you know, you said previously you'd prefer him to probably have played a bit more waffle yeah. than playing AFL. How much do you think he's learnt from this year? Given Campbell, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, he's played 14 or 15 senior games this year and, you know, I, I just hope you guys don't, overplay when these guys get dropped and they're 19, 20 years old because it's not going to be linear, their success. It's going to be ups and downs. So, um, you know, he's pretty pretty close to playing on the weekend. He hasn't done a lot wrong, but it's been a long year. So we'll we'll bank that, um, hit pre-season next, you know, next year with more games under his belt. And you know, he's learned a lot from round one to, to where he is now. It's It's been a really good improvement. Did both Shannon and Luke get through training? No, 100%. Probably. They got through training. <laughs> and so they're 100%. Um, but they, they got through and they're going to play and they're going to give it everything they've got. And you yeah. touched on Nick Nat earlier. What, what role does he play on game day? Oh, he's not in the ruck, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I don't know. I don't know the activations will do, but, you know, we, it doesn't end as a fairy tale for everyone. And obviously, I think Mark lacrae has got the best ending to his career. Um, you know, getting a game where you get to play with your mates one last time is probably the next best. And then and Nick's recognition from the crowd and... What he's done for us will will be the third best, which we'll, we'll do something pre and post game. Adam, uh, the AFL calculations and how they compensate free agency picks isn't really clear cut. There's a lot of attention on what North Melbourne might get if yeah. Mackay leaves. Would it be how, how would you feel if West Coast first round pick got bumped further down the order because of that? Um, I haven't thought a lot about it. Uh, I don't know the rules well enough, um, and there's another game to go. So ask me next week and I'll do some research. <laughs>